Good morning. It's a beauty. It is, uh, I don't know, like almost six, Saturday morning. Just having coffee on the porch or Benny. Benny, Benny, Benny. And the cat. Um, yeah, so it's beautiful out. I woke up obscenely early this morning for some reason. It's one of those things you wake up and you know you're not getting back to sleep. So here we are, having a nice coffee. Uh, yeah. Benny, <coughs> excuse me, last night about, uh, I don't know, 10 o'clock. He started barking at the ceiling, and then we heard the yipping of coyotes, a pack very close. Um, you hear them off in the distance and whatnot sometimes, but uh, last night they were very close, and he chased them off. He did his job, so that was awesome. He didn't go into the bush or anything off after them. He uh, just did his job along the bush line and sent them off on their way. So, I'd like to say hopefully that's that, but we all know that's not the case. So, it looks like he has had a fairly busy night. He's up and he's pretty dirty. Now he's chasing the cat around. He loves to do that. Um, what are we doing this weekend? Well, it looks like we might get a little bit of rain today. And for sure some rain tomorrow. But we've got to make a dump run. Um, oh, we got raspberry bushes. Found them for $10 a piece, which is a pretty good deal, <coughs> considering how uh, healthy these are. And some of them already have flowers on them. Um, so we got four of them. Shana went and got four of them. And then the lady was... Uh, Asked her to get a yellow raspberry bush. Do you want a yellow raspberry bush? She and I said, sure. Uh, even though we've never heard of a yellow raspberry or yeah, the raspberry bushes. But as the lady said, apparently they're super sweet and delicious. So we got one. <clears throat> it's super short compared to the other ones, though. Um, so we're going to get those planted today. Of course, grass cutting. Always grass cutting. Um... Eaves trough, we've got to clean the eaves trough with all the rain that we've had and the amount of trees that we have surrounded. Yeah, like I say, the amount of trees that we have surrounded the, uh, the house. Lots of leaves in there. So got to get that done. Um, and then depending on what the day is like tomorrow, uh, we got to, oh, Shana's aunt, or our aunt, she has an old mid-60s Rambler that she is looking to sell. She's had it since the 90s. <clears throat> um, it was actually her grandmother's. Great story behind it. I'll tell you more about it when I'm pulling it out of the barn. Um... We gotta get that pulled out. She's, gonna, she's decided she's gonna sell it. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll get it pulled out of there, washed up a little bit, and uh, posted for sale on the internets here. Um, other than that, just clean out our car maybe, because it's more like a work truck than it is a car. And uh, that'll be, that's kind of it for now, I guess. That's, that's it. All right, good morning, enjoy the day. We'll see you later. All right, so uh, had some lunch, got some garlic and onions cut or cut up, and they're in the dehydrator for the day. I like to make our own garlic powder and whatnot because it just tastes. Uh, much better than buying it um 
that lasts a lot. You don't need as much when you're seasoning shit. So I was coming out after that was done and uh, I was going to run to the dump with stuff that I got to get rid of. Uh, but the Big Beast 2005 Chevrolet Astro all-wheel drive. Um, she's not starting up for some reason. So we got her on the trickle charger. Um, try and get that started. So we are going to... What are we going to do? Uh, we'll plant the raspberry trees, bushes, whatever you want to call them. Um, get those in the ground, then we'll start cutting some grass and see where the... Uh, battery on the van space case uh see where the battery on the big beast is uh after that so that's where we're starting off oh we had a visit from the cousins too they came down with the girls it is a beautiful day so they're out wandering um and there's Vinny coming in from following them He absolutely adores them and, and the little girls plays very gently with them and he follows them whenever they leave on the quad uh to the back of the property there he uh yeah he loves them that's it Wasn't that fun? You watched me plant raspberry bushes. So we got this little fella here. It's a yellow raspberry bush. Never seen raspberry, yellow raspberry, never had any. Uh, so it'll be interesting. Apparently they're super sweet. And then we got four other ones here. Um, we'll have to get them staked up. Some of them, there are tiny flowers on them already. Like they're pretty healthy little. Beep, beep, beep. Can you see that? That's my hand. There we go. Yeah, they're pretty healthy little plants with flowers already on them. Obviously, we know we won't get a harvest really off of them this year, um, but it's a good sign. So that's uh, that's kind of hope. Get everything established and then start be able to get everything or start get a harvest off them next year. Um, it's pretty fucking hot out and I'm wearing a long sleeve t-shirt. Jesus Christ. Um, so I'm going to go change my shirt into not a long sleeve black fucking t-shirt and, uh, move on to the next little project. All right. Ooh, she's a little crooked. So a little change and get up here cause she's. Just a little warm out sun is bright as a bitch uh so we're gonna cut some grass now i got these fucking shirts are the best i wish i had more of these if you got some of these kind of shirts and a size fat i mean xl uh throw them at me just go ahead throw them at me uh my grandfather's hat straw hat um but but we're gonna cut some grass i gotta get sunscreen on because shane always yells at me for not putting sunscreen on so i always put sunscreen on uh before i head out here so we don't get sun cancer or skin cancer and shit because uh, that would be bad nice little copper tone spray on uh so yeah we're gonna try and get some or all of the grass cut uh this is going to be a weekly occurrence so if you don't like me talking about cutting grass get out see you later because this is a weekly occurrence
All right, it is the afternoon. I've been hanging out here for like, mm, I don't know, an hour. Oh, you saw my armpit hair. There you go. Uh, so we finished cutting grass and then I was gonna do the troughs and Shayna wanted me to wait till she got home so, uh, so I didn't fall. Uh, my mom came over, she dropped off some stuff. I gotta cut some wood for her. Uh, I'll probably do that tomorrow when it's raining. Um, and some homemade ice cream sandwiches, but it's like they're made with brownies. And uh, my mom is celiac, and most celiac food is fucking gross. Uh, but she makes these brownies, and they're unbelievable. Like, best brownie I've ever had. Uh, so she drops some of those off with butterscotch ice cream in the middle of them and they're well one of them was really good so uh i'm just hanging out here on the hammock we got larzy we got Vinny, and uh drink of one oh fuck drink of one of these if you haven't tried these try them i put it in a cup with ice because it was warm but uh yeah it was uh they're so good like they make my mouth Every time I think of them or see them, my mouth waters right away. Like, you know, when you have that, like, like everybody has that food that makes your mouth water. You can smell it, you can do the butt, the, whatever. This motherfucker, this makes my mouth water. Anyway, so that's what's happening right now. So when Shana gets home here, and I don't know when she'll be home, uh, she will monitor me up on the ladder. Uh, make sure I don't fall um get these trough all cleaned out and then uh, that might be it for the afternoon just enjoy relax hang out with each other relax some more <laughs> anyway. you know the problem with being on the hammock here and uh the way it is it's a rope one so you like really sink down in the motherfucker uh and having little bars launching uh, is I gotta pee really bad <laughs> and uh, I just really don't want to because I mean it is a bit of a chore getting up here or in here I mean you can get in here fine I did almost fall off once um, but it's it's uh, I'm big I'm tall and trying to get in here and get situated and not be like I still kind of am off to the one side like my shoulder my body's over here my legs are over there so uh yeah that's that is the one problem i am finding with the hammock is the fact that i have to pee really bad and not want it to get out and do it so yeah all right it's a uh, sunday down here at sucker town rained a lot this morning quick and heavy uh not a lot we're gonna do outside right now or even really today other than hopefully the east trough but uh i'm gonna spend the day kind of in the shop here uh gotta get some wood cut for mom for shelves that she wants done uh for i don't know she's she's a pinterest queen right now um so we're gonna get that done and uh and then organize the shop because it is a fucking mess. Uh, Vinny's in the background. Vinny, where are you? See him? Tucked in there? Oh, there he is. Looking for whatever. Squirrels, chipmunks, mice, whatever gets in there. Vinny. Hey!
All right, it's uh, the end of the weekend here. I didn't do a lot of videotaping today. Um, I didn't do a lot. Well, I got done what I wanted to get done, I guess. Uh, Mom was down a couple of times. FaceTime with my grandma. She loves that shit. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I did get the rest of my boop, 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 workbench cleaned here. Or built and organized. So this was just... Let's back up here. It was just this back piece here, or the bottom piece here. It's literally, it's, it's so Jimmy rigged. So the legs are old saw horses. The bottom there, it's from an old like table out of a legion or something like that. Uh, it worked. And then uh, the two by fours there underneath. Right there. Uh, they're from just here in the barn. Just found them here in the barn. And then, uh, oops, spilled my beer. And then this plywood that it's sitting on, it uh, came out. My buddy, he had a, where his business is, guy was getting rid of a lot of plywood shelving and whatnot. So it was eight feet, built her, and it's done really well. But I needed some shelving, or not some shelving, uh, back piece to it. So I took another old piece of plywood, did the job, screwed it to the back, used a couple of, I uh, found another piece of, uh, a lot of pointing there, eh? Fucking Vanna White. Fucking Vanna White. Uh, cut it in half just to brace it. Put it up there. And then uh, this shelf came out of this one right here. I'm really fucking good at videotaping. Uh, Rebel, Shannon's Restaurant. Put that up there. Uh, um, and then just started hanging shit so it's more organized. More organized. This is where everything came from. It's a fucking mess. If you haven't had one of those Caesars with the Chipotle and lime, get you some. That's good. Um, oh fuck. Jesus. Rough day. Um, yeah, so that was it. I got the eaves trough on the one side of the house cleaned. Did some uh, fuck sealing along the seam just because it was dripping. That's... That's it on my face. That's the fuck seal on my face. It's all over the place. Shit's good though. It works. Uh, so yeah, that was it for this weekend. Um, love that shelf. That old toolbox. Not toolbox, that's a lunchbox. There's still a spoon in it. We found that um, in the hayloft. It was just poking out the side of the hayloft one day so i got ladder and went up there and grabbed it somebody obviously forgot it up there uh 50 some odd years ago it was uh yeah i mean that hay has been up there for since 1974. uh somebody finished the lunch that day just left the spoon in there in the lunch box so uh yeah that is it fairly quiet weekend for what we did like i said i didn't videotape a lot but we got a lot bunch done so now we're gonna go sit on the porch and just relax we're having hot dogs for dinner tonight say hi shayna can you see her <laughs> um you'll see you already saw a video Vinny found the top of the hayloft there's stairs going up there uh, up to the one part of it and he just found it today I uh, had a blast he's all tuckered out now just sleepy sleepy boy those are his sticks and his ropes and there's Lars he's got his rat <laughs> all right so that's it oh there's Shane again <laughs> all right well, we'll see you next week.